If you're stocking up on gear before your summer vacation, then we've got you covered with episode number 21 of Awesome Travel Products. Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker. Before we begin, we've hidden a discount code for Pack Hacker Pro somewhere in this video. Ooh, where is it? I don't know, who knows? The first 10 people to claim it will receive 30% off their first year. If you find it, head to packhacker.com slash pro to sign up. We'll leave a link down below. Let's get into the video. We're starting with a bag from Bellroy's new Venture Ready line. They designed it for more adventurous travel compared to other gear they've been making for the past couple years. While Bellroy typically focuses on blending style and functionality, this line adds rugged and durable Canva ripstop fabric and water resistant YKK zippers into the mix. That means this bag can be your daily carry to the office and weekend warrior on the trail, all in one package. Not everyone on our team loves the material's rough and stiff texture, but you can't argue with the durability and lightness. Personally, I think everyone on the team is wrong because I love the feel of this fabric. Underneath its tougher exterior, it is pure Bellroy with all of the nice organizational features and touches that we've come to love about the brand. A top pocket easily handles small everyday gear like cables, pens, and a battery bank. Plus, there's a hidden side pocket for larger items like a flashlight, granola bars, and your keys. The water bottle pocket doesn't stretch, but you can use a strap to lock your bottle's handle in place so it doesn't slip out. Properly packing the spacious main compartment takes a bit of practice since the pockets eat into its capacity. Still, there's enough useful internal organization to hold small accessories when jetting away on a trip. I brought this pack along with the sling in this line from Detroit to New York City and then to Florida. It was a 10 day trip and it fit everything I needed with a couple packing cubes and pouches inside. If you're a fan of Bellroy, the Venture Ready pack still has their signature style and streamlined shape. The contour of the back panel fits your back naturally and the shoulder straps have just the right amount of padding. And if you're in the market for new packing cubes, keep watching because we've got something to show you later on in this video. One of our favorite things about Brevity's products is the super soft material that they use on their gear. Plus their gear comes in a ton of fun colors. This pouch is 1.5 liters and almost looks like it could be a sling. But instead of a waist or shoulder strap, it has a low profile carry handle. It sits flat against the bottom so you don't have to worry about the pouch tipping over when you set it down at a desk or table, like so. It unzips from both sides so you can leave the heads on either end of the track or just open a portion of the pouch to grab what you need. There's only one compartment here, but it includes nice organization and feels pretty spacious. Two liner pockets rest against the front for small items like a flash drive or AirPods, and a larger pocket along the back secures with a magnet so you can contain cords, a mouse, or any other gear you don't want to have to search to the bottom to find. The pockets are all stretchy material, so you won't have to worry about storing bulky gear inside, although if you overload them, it'll block space in the center. The brevity pouch works good for tech, toiletries, camera gear, or even art supplies. And we think it's a great starter pouch for travelers that are looking to amp up their organization. While it has limited space for longer or taller gear, there are other options from Brevity if you need a different size. Check out all of our Brevity reviews to see how they stack up. If you know Pack Hacker, you know that we love to sing the praises of slings. But if you're looking for a two shoulder solution in a smaller size, a mini backpack may be the way to go. So if you're already a fan of the North Face's Borealis line, then check out the mini. It has the signature style of its big sister with a bungee parading down the front, but in a size that's perfect for carrying just the essentials. Unfortunately, you'll need to stash water bottles inside the bag since the side pockets are only large enough to fit a 12 ounce disposable bottle. Or attach your hydration to the outside and join Pack Hacker Pro for tips on how to keep it secure. Check out the link down in the description below for more information on how to sign up. And if you found that discount code, now's the time to use it. The rest of the organization is just right though. There's a sleeve for a small device plus a mesh pocket to hold tiny gear like AirPods, gum, and keys. And there's still room for a hat, packable jacket, a book, or a travel size water bottle. A pocket spanning the entire front panel is a great place to stash your phone and wallet to be close at hand whenever you need them. While the right side pocket is great for a pack of tissues, a snack bar, or a minimalist wallet. Plus, even though it's a mini backpack, the back panel and harness system mirror bigger bags with nice padding, good flexibility in the shoulder straps, and easy to adjust Duraflex hardware. There's like an actual back panel in here, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for a bag with a backpack style when you need to bring less for day trips to the amusement park, exploring a new city, or grabbing a coffee with friends, give the Borealis mini backpack a shot. When you love a product, it's nice to see it get an upgrade. Lauren has used the Bellroy card pocket every day for over a year. In fact, she's doing some like snow hiking right now and she's probably carrying that wallet with her. And now there's a similar design with added weather resistance. 
The Alconditions card pocket has a pre-molded water-resistant leather shell and a YKK AquaGuard zipper, so you don't have to worry about water getting into your cards and cash when you travel. If you've ever dropped your wallet in a shallow puddle while you're hiking, just trying to pull out a snack, then you know how annoying it is to open everything up and dry out your cards and cash. That's not a problem with the minimalist All Conditions card pocket since it keeps your cards from slipping out and moisture from getting in. It's not waterproof, but it is highly water resistant and gets the job done most of the time. You'll find three pockets inside while you open it. The one against the front is slightly larger and stretchier to hold more cards. There's also a second slot behind the pocket on the back side with a leash so you can keep the key to your apartment, mailbox, or Airbnb close. This comes in handy when you're dashing down the street for your morning cup of joe and don't need to carry anything but your wallet. Like new shoes, this wallet breaks in more when you use it, and we find the stiff zipper loosens up with use. While the hard shell isn't super flexible, it may provide the security you're looking for if you're unafraid of the wet weather in pursuit of a good time. If you're looking for something different, we took a deep dive into a dozen different options during a live stream with our Pack Hacker Pro community, including the original Bellroy card pocket, which is still Lauren's favorite. When you're picking a packing cube, what's more important to you, weight or durability? If you're looking for something you can trust for trips to come, check out the pack bags from Topo Designs. They're made of 400D recycled nylon and are sturdier than lighter weight packing cubes like those from Eagle Creek, which are typically made from a polyester rip stop. We're not joking when we say that they feel as durable as some day packs that we've tested. Part of that toughness is thanks to the chunky YKK zippers, which have a paracord woven through the poles. It makes them super easy to drag around the corners, even after you've packed the cubes tight. That said, we think they're a bit overkill for something this size. Still, a packing cube won't do you any good if the zipper jams or splits when you're halfway around the world, so we'll take a little added reassurance any day over a questionable closure. Just ensure your clothing is tucked away safely inside when you zip them up so you don't snag your favorite t-shirt. You can pick them up in 5 and 10 liter sizes and two different shapes. One is shallower and fits one layer of clothing, while the other is shaped more like a bucket. If you have a tall and narrow travel backpack that you have to load from the top, the taller shape might fit better, but you'll have to put your rolls of clothing into two layers to make use of the extra depth. We prefer using a single layer since it's easier to find what you're looking for, but you do you. They all have carry handles and open clamshell for easy packing, but their sturdiness means they can work for more than just clothing when needed. While they're heavier than ultralight cubes, you probably won't notice a few extra ounces if you're not flying a budget airline with a low weight limit. If you're carrying a tote or a duffel bag on your next trip, there's a chance that it won't include built-in laptop protection. If that's the case, grab a sleeve to protect your device from bumps on the road. The slim laptop sleeve from Alpaca cradles your laptop in a micro fleece lining encased in recycled polyester. It secures with reliable YKK zippers that have the same Hypalon-like rubbery poles you'll find on other Alpaca gear. When you slide your computer inside, corner tabs help keep them in place so it doesn't accidentally slip out when unzipping the sleeve. And while the slim laptop sleeve isn't as, well, slim as other laptop cases we've gotten our hands on, you probably don't need the extra protection if your travel day pack already has a well-padded, dedicated laptop compartment. And if you're sliding it into a bag without a dedicated laptop sleeve, the extra space in the corners is unlikely to matter too much. At the time of this video, it comes in both 14 and 16 inch sizes. While minimalists may automatically add the black color to cart, it also comes in brighter hues like yellow, teal, and gray to stand out from the crowd. That'll come in handy when you're returning from a break in your business meeting to find the conference room full of black cases. Plus, a bright colored sleeve can be easier to spot in your backpack or messenger bag. The other thing that I really love about this sleeve is the feel of the fabric. Feels really nice, premium, and it's a little bit of a different take than a lot of other laptop sleeves out there. As your tech collection expands, so too does the gear that you need to bring on a trip. And while your kit may have a lot of slots and sleeves, you might not always want to fill them up with cords, chargers, and batteries for each item. Instead, check out the PowerBase Go from Snap Wireless. It's an all-in-one charging station for your iPhone, AirPods, and Apple Watch, so you can leave all those chargers at home and just bring this one. Never fear Android users because there is a Samsung-specific version as well. The PowerBase Go has pretty stylish aesthetics, and these square bases with heathered gray fabric look nice on any bedside or coffee table. From left to right, we have a MagSafe-compatible charging pad for an iPhone, a charging pad for an Apple Watch, and a charging pad for a pair of AirPods. An included cable plugs into the USB-C port on the far edge of the Apple Watch charging pad, though you'll need to provide your own charging adapter. The iPhone charger supports up to 15 watts of power, and built-in magnets work with MagSafe phones. If your phone doesn't have that, a SnapMag ring is in the box. 
Stick it to your phone or case to help it snap to the pad. An Apple Watch charges at a three watt rate and AirPods five watts. So while it's not the fastest, it'll get the job done if you connect everything overnight. Don't worry if you wanna catch up on succession while your phone is charging. Arrange the charger into a triangle and turn it into a phone stand while it wirelessly charges your phone. That's great for catching up with your favorite YouTubers or having your alarm go off in the morning while it's facing your face so you don't oversleep and miss your flight. So what do you think of these new travel products? Let us know down in the comments below along with your favorites. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.